hey guys welcome to my channel if you're new here I say welcome and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back please feel free to give me a hug by smashing the subscribe button and you can give me a high five by liking my video also feel free to drop a comment in the comment section down there anytime you want all right so today we'll be moving our spotlight all the way to the country of Sierra Leone. Yes, let's just say we're in Sierra Leone. All right, putting our spotlight on a young man who goes by the name Kelvin Doe. Who is Kelvin Doe? What has he done? You might ask. Stick around. I will get into the story in a bit. Okay, so Kelvin Bokai Doe, aka DJ Focus, is a Sierra Leonean self taught engineer and inventor. He was born on the 26th of October, 1996 in Freetown, the capital of Sierra Leone. He's the youngest of five children and he was single-handedly raised by his mom. All right, at the young age of 10, Kelvin would go about in his community um, after school or in his free time. However, he would go about picking up um, damaged electronic parts um, damaged electronic items, um, scrap metals, aged tins, and the likes. He would collect them and take them home. What for, you might be asking? Probably to play with them, yeah? Nah, that is not the case. In Kelvin's case, he would take them home and put them aside. Go about his normal day, and by 7 p.m., he would go to sleep and wake up past midnight when every other person is asleep and then he brings out those items he collected from the dump sites and from people and you know around this community and then he begins to work on them he would dismantle them just to see how they are wired what they are made of and then he would try to reassemble them into um, let's just say his own kind of inventions like batteries, transmitters and the likes. A young boy of 10. Can you imagine? Kelvin kept on doing that, you know, and as time went on, he thought to himself that he would love to build something, you know, that would, that would, that would bring a solution to the constant electricity outage in his home and of course in his community. You might think the young boy is crazy, but guess what? At the age of 13, um, Kelvin actually built a battery that powered his house and not only that, um, that of his neighbors. So he finally came up with a solution to the constant power electricity outage in his community. Can you beat that? Remember, he thought of it at the age of 10. He pictured it in his mind. He worked on it, and then he achieved it at the age of 13. You think we have gotten somewhere? The story just got started. At this point, I would like to say, please don't forget to smash the subscribe button and give me a high five by liking this video. All right, let's proceed. Kelvin didn't stop at that. He kept on building and, 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 and coming up with things. He kept on coming up with innovations, kept on working with scrap metals that he, 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 he regularly picked up from dump sites and the likes. And it happened that at the age of 13 still, he built a radio transmitter batteries, a three channel mixer and receiver and guess what? Kelvin started his own radio station. You heard me right. Kelvin started his own FM radio station. He started broadcasting in his community. He would play music, read news um, under the name DJ Focus. He went on like that and he caught the attention of the 
broadcast corporation of his country, this young man was 13. Wow, this is interesting. At the age of 16, Kelvin and his team came tops at Innovate Salon. So Innovate Salon is a local youth-oriented challenge that was organized by David Sehen, who was at that time a PhD student in the MIT Media Lab, that is the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. This victory paved way for Kelvin to Massachusetts, where he became the youngest person ever to participate in the Visiting Practitioners Program. So the Visiting Practitioners Program is a program that helps inventors and innovators take their innovations beyond ideas. Yes, Kelvin is the youngest person ever to participate in the Visiting Practitioners Program. In 2012, Kelvin appeared on TEDx team to give a talk. He also lectured at Harvard. Yes, you heard me right. He gave a lecture to Dave on engineering students at Harvard College. Isn't that amazing? That is not all. That is not all. In 2016, he became um, a honorary and advisory member of Emergency USA. So Emergency USA is a global non-profit organization that provides um, free medical care for people affected by war and poverty. This is interesting. Also in 2016, Kelvin founded his own startup and foundation, his startup known as Kedo Tech and his foundation known as Kelvin Doe Foundation. So the Kelvin Doe Foundation is a non-profit organization that is committed to empowering young people in Africa to design, you know, innovative solutions to tackle some of the most critical issues in their community. Isn't that amazing? Before I forget, in 2013 also, Kelvin signed a $100,000 project with a Canadian Wi-Fi company to develop and test solar solutions. Guys, I can go on and on, but this is just a few of Kelvin's achievements. Remember, this is a young African whose dream kicked off at the age of 10. Kelvin is now 24 and he currently lives and studies in Canada. This whole achievement has made it possible for Kelvin to meet and partner with world-renowned leaders such as Hillary Clinton, the president of Harvard, um, the president of Ghana, President Nana Kufado, the president of African Development Bank Group um, in the person of Mr. Akimumi Adeshino, who is the former Honorable Minister of Agriculture and in Nigeria. Guys, I think we should we should we should just stop here. What is the essence of this whole story? This is a young African child from a very poor background, a very poor community. But that was not enough to stop him. This goes to show that no matter where you are in Africa, no matter how poor you think your background is, or no matter how poor the community you come from is, there is something inside of you, there is something you carry that the world is willing to listen to or to watch you when you begin to explore, when you begin to, you know, shine. Remember, Kelvin's case is a unique one because in as much as he's African, a young African that was in Africa, it took another person another African to discover him in the person of David Senge, who happens to be his mentor now. David Senge discovered Kelvin and for, I think he discovered a world treasure. Who would have known that Kelvin had this much in him? If you're a young person watching this, I want you to know that you carry 
a lot inside of you. God has put in a lot inside of you that the world is in need of. And also you might think, oh, this might not be applicable to me because I'm all well accomplished, I'm all well established. You can be the David Senge to another Kelvin that is, you know, lying around somewhere in Africa. Let us, let us come together, let us work together, let us make the world know that Africa has a lot of treasure in terms of human beings, in terms of resources and all that. We have all it takes to make Africa a better place. And for all you know, that thing you carry inside of you is what will pave way for you to the global community. Don't give up on yourself. Don't think less of yourself because you are young or because you are African. Remember, God has put in something inside of you and the Bible says that a man's gift makes way for him. And if you're diligent with your gift, just as Kelvin was diligent with his, as the Bible says, you will sit among kings and not men. men. Do not give up. Do not look down on yourself. You have what it takes for the whole world to stand and give you a round of applause. You have what it takes for the whole world to recognize and give you a standing ovation. Before I continue, let me quickly read out one of Kelvin's favorite quotes. I read, Creativity is universal and can be found in places where one does not expect to find it. Perseverance and passion are essential for nurturing that creative ability. True words coming from Kelvin. True words. Creativity is universal. It means as an African, whether in Africa or outside of Africa, there is creativity inside of you. That light you have, let it shine. What you have is enough to make Africa a better place. What you have is enough to make Africans better. All you have to do is let your light shine. And if you are there as an African, it's upon you, the task is on you to also discover some somebody that carries that light and help them shine their light. If David Senge had not discovered Kelvin Doe, I don't think we'll be celebrating the young man today. Even right now, living and studying in Canada, he's still teaching the Canadians about innovations, about technology and all that. That is an African doing great stuff in Canada. Dear African youth, let us come together. Let us explore all that we have in us. Let us let our light shine. And in doing that, we light up the whole of Africa and we put Africa Wow, thank you so much Kelvin Doe for showing us that it is possible. Thank you so much for shining your light. Thank you so much for putting out your gift to, to, to the world. God bless you, God loves you, and we, we, we pray that you continue to succeed in all that you do and that you keep putting Africa on the map. Okay, having said all that, like I always say, this is my court and I do things the way I want. And I put it to you, Kelvin Doe, that you are guilty as charged. And here is my verdict. Kelvin Doe, you are hereby sentenced to 600 years of success, prosperity, innovations, inventions, groundbreaking moves, giant strides, and all that. I rest my case. All right, people. If you're still here at this time of this video, I appreciate you, you're the real MVP. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to give me a hug by smashing the subscribe button and also give me a high five by liking my videos. And feel free to drop a comment in the comment section down there anytime you want. Please don't forget to also stay safe out there, put on your mask, Obey all COVID-19 precautionary measures and be good. Catch you in my next video. Till then, it's bye.